My name is Jack Spurbeck, and this is my fourth YouTube video. The title of, of this video is Peter Walks on the Water. Now, Peter Walks on the Water is taken from Matthew chapter 14, uh, verse 22. And in that passage, we see Jesus just has completed feeding the 5,000. And after that, Jesus tells his disciples to meet him on the other side of the sea, of the lake. And uh, he's going to go up in the mountains and pray. And then the disciples are to get into their boat and meet him over the, on the other side. So that night, uh, the disciples are on the sea. It's actually nighttime. And they uh, uh, are going across the sea and then all of a sudden there comes a storm. The wind picks up and there's a storm. In the, I would say probably in the middle of the sea. Now the Sea of Galilee is about 13 miles long and about eight miles wide. So they're out there probably in the middle. And during their voyage across the other side to see Jesus, the wind picks up, the storms and the waves start rocking the boat. And uh, and the, as that happens, we see the disciples look off to the horizon and they see something out there. They see it, what they think is a specter. They say, oh my gosh, what is that? It's, it's a ghost. They're, they're afraid, they're frightened. Oh boy, it's a ghost. And then they hear Jesus' voice. His voice shouts out. He said, have courage, have courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. And they say, well, man, it's Jesus. So they're relieved that we see Jesus. And Peter says, cries out to Jesus, Jesus, if that's you, tell me to join you on the water. And Jesus says, come. And Peter crawls out of the boat. I can see Peter now. The boat is going back and forth. And he's, he's going to crawl out to meet Jesus. And sure enough, he gets out and, and he's walking on the water. Amazing, Jesus. Peter's walking on the water toward Jesus. But then he's startled. He's disrupted by the, by the waves, by the wind. He loses his concentration and he starts to sink. But Jesus is there and he takes him up. He rescues him and he takes him back to the boat. Now, the way I see this and why I visualize this is Jesus probably picked him up in both of his arms like a child. He brings him back to safety, brings him back to the boat. And in that boat, he, he tells, well, he sees his disciples and he tells the wind and the storm to calm. Jesus calms the storm. And that's the story of Peter walks on the water. And that's how I, I envision it, and that's my vent on how, how that might play out. Now let's take a look at the sculpture and, let, and see how I use clay to represent the story. So Jesus walks on the, or Peter walks on the water, and he's with Jesus, of course. But uh, this has three components to it, this sculpture or pot has three components. It has, first of all, Jesus, and it has Peter, and we have the Sea of Galilee. Now, Jesus is on the water, and Peter is, is sinking, and, uh, and he's got the wind blowing in his face, and he's got the water dripping from his brow, and he's got all things happening around him. Imagine the wind blowing and the thunder and lightning and there's Peter. And the Sea of Galilee is all, has white caps and it's uh, in turmoil. But my Potter friends at Studio B says, well, Jack, how can you have Peter sinking in the water? Shouldn't this be about Peter walking on the water? Why isn't Peter walking on the water? What's going on? 
my family sees the sculpture and they say, how come Peter's not walking with Jesus? The name of the sculpture is Peter Walks on the Water. And I say, well, listen, this is how I see the story. This is the beauty of the story. This is, I think, the essence of Peter walking on the water. Yes, Peter had his supernatural power to walk on the water to Jesus because of his faith, because of his love of Jesus and his idea to go to see his friend. And, uh, but he was distracted and he was distracted by the wind and the storm. And then like us, we are often distracted. We have goals and we try to meet our goals, but too often we're distracted by, not by the wind or the storm, but we're distracted by worldly things, worldly ideas. We're distracted by the world. Now, Peter started to fall in the water. He started to need help and Jesus was there to rescue them, to pluck them out of the water, like us. If we just ask, and if we're in trouble, Jesus is there to help us. And <laughs> so this, this, uh, in the, so we take it on. So Jesus picks up Peter and takes him to the boat in his arms, like a baby or like a child. Jesus loves us, and we're like a child in the face of, the God, of our God and Jesus, and he brings us to safety. And in the boat, safe with his friends, the disciples, Peter sees that Jesus calms the water. He calms the storm. And for us, too, with faith, Jesus can calm our storms and the waters. Well, that's pretty much my interpretation of Peter Walks on the Water. And that's how I see it in clay form. Now, I might tell you, while doing research on this, I came across Matthew 17, chapter 17. And in Matthew 17, Jesus tells his, his disciples, he says, guys, listen, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, like a little mustard seed, that's enough faith where you can tell the mountains to move from one part or place to another and the mountains will move. And with faith, there's nothing that's not impossible. With faith, you can do anything. So, you know, Jesus told us, uh, his disciples to consider that and that's an important thing. But during the um, Peter walks on the water. This is Peter doing this now. This is Peter walking on the water. It wasn't Jesus telling Peter to walk because he was going to perform a miracle on Peter. No. The way I see this is Peter, because of his faith, was able to do the supernatural thing because of faith. Well, that has some really, really fun and exciting imagery. Now, I might tell you, um, we're closing here. I want you to, uh, you know, give me good feedback. If you like it, of course, subscribe. And, uh, and I enjoy uh, doing these videos. I hope you enjoy watching. Now, the other thing I might say is that people come to me and they ask, they say, Jack, what, you know, how can you do these videos? Do you get paid for it? Do you sell them? What's going on? What's the deal here? And I say, no, 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 no. I don't get paid. You know, I actually pay people to watch them, okay? And, you know, the reason I do these is I do them with a loving heart and I do them for therapy. I do them for my psychological well-being. So that's uh, that's process. Now let's take one more look at uh, Peter walking on the water. And, you know, what I think this, um, this piece could be called is not only Peter walking on the water, but it actually could be named faith, because this is all about faith. This is the principle of this. This is the essence of this idea, is faith. Now, we can see, again, Jesus. Jesus is a real person. There's a real thing, okay? Peter was a real man. He's a common man, just like we are, a real human being. And the Sea of Galilee is a real place. You can visit the Sea of Galilee. It's in, 
in Israel. You can go there. I know people have been there. And uh, you can go there you want. So, you know, so be it. So these are real things. And, uh, and so the last thing I always say is, remember, it's not the art, because my art is pretty janky and pretty crude. But it's the story. And my story is pretty rough too, but my story is a beautiful story because in the end, the story is the art. It's not the art, but the story is the art. And I would like to say one more thing. Folks, keep the faith, baby. <laughs> Thank you so much.